first of all, let me thank Mark for embarking on this journey aimed at addressing societal norms and practices that cause social suffering and stigmatization on the IFAITA. The Mark More Than a Mother campaign is a timeless initiative which will enable us to challenge perceptions associated with infertility. I will be a voice to the voiceless like many other women. I spent what feels like eternity trying to find answers. I deceived myself into believing that silence was a source of great strength. I later found that courage to ask questions and to express what I really felt and wanted. When I stopped living my life based on what others thought of me, that is when my life actually began. When I discovered that silence was my real crime, I finally saw the door of self-acceptance -accept open. Indeed, low self-esteem is not the home to take refuge. It does not keep you comforted from, it does not keep you comforted from any danger. It keeps you confined away from your real potential. And friends, to change ourselves effectively, we first have to change our perception. Before I continue, Rush, I'd like to know if there's a video um, that we can put that tells my story. Yeah? Okay, thank you. We live in a society that only embraces success. It takes a great deal of inner strength to overcome stereotypes and myths associated with infertility. It's all about struggle and effort and optimism <clears throat> and never ever giving up. It is sad that infertility is always linked to women, yet it is also a man's problem. Unfortunately, many of the medical treatments for infertility focus on the woman's body. In this age and time, we must champion honest and hard conversations and confront the stereotyping. All in all, men and women are affected by infertility in different ways. This is the time when we need to come together and seek knowledge. This is the value that Mark Campaign brings to us. We must take advantage of information and communication platforms to create awareness. And it makes people comfortable to share their fears and experiences. It is an avenue for self-acceptance. It helps in seeking alternatives and can even lead into acceptance and pursuing other options, such as adoption or even leaving a child free without fear of stigmatization. It leads to the regaining of a sense of control, which may have been diminished. It breaks the shackles of perceptions, and uh, perceptions means co conceptions and stereotypes. I will use this position to help those who have been affected like me to find their identity so that they will no longer succumb to the negative misconceptions that have captured their minds. We must break ranks with tradition, tilt the scales, take the battle head on, and walk to freedom. Most crucial and the enduring success is in finding and securing the needed courage to place value on building ourselves up as individuals based on shared positive values which abound within us. All of us must work towards promoting, protecting, preserving, and observing our health rights as enshrined in our constitution. We must take the lead in supporting appropriate legislative, administration, budgetary measures that guarantee the full realization of comprehensive and indiscriminate health rights for all. For us in Kenya, I call on the government to implement Recommendation 14 of the UN Economic, Social and Cultural Rights Committee, which calls for the right of access to health facilities, goods and services on a non-discriminatory basis, especially for vulnerable or marginalized groups, and the provision of, the edu of education and access to information concerning the main health problems in the community, including methods of preventing and controlling them. Together with our strategic partner, Mark, I'll work towards creating an enabling policy environment that promotes reproductive health and rights, including building capacity to strengthen health systems, 
partnering with faith-based organizations, civil society, and community-based organizations. Today marks the beginning of honest conversations, which we must move from safe and private spaces to the world out there, to the streets and villages. The minds of our people must be liberated from uh, subservice, mediocrity, and misinformation. Through this campaign, we are able to contribute in raising awareness about discrimination, stigma, and ostracism women undergo for their inability to have a child. From today moving forward, we must endeavor to have an informed discourse on infertility with our male counterparts and open up avenues for engagement. The right to information is an essential component to realizing the right to health. In closing, I'd like to state that we must never rearrange our lives in order to please others. Every man and woman directly affected by the challenge of infertility must be able to figure their worth, pick up their sweetness of pride, board a flight to freedom, and land them in the valley of change. We must have the strength, courage, and self-confidence to get in touch with our own feelings, thinking about what profoundly affects us. Without adversity and trials, we may never know what we are capable of. We must be fearless to travel on the journey of unknown and circumvent negative influences, circumstances, and people. Let us all join hands with Mark to create awareness on infertility and interventions and invest time and energy in ensuring that adequate resources are mobilized. Once again, a special thank you to Mark for the honor and recognition. You can count on my unwavering commitment and support. Thank you and God bless you.